This is breaking news from Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Good afternoon, I'm Chris Kirshner and welcome to Eyewitness News at Noon. And we do begin with breaking news and that is the musical chairs of Indiana politics. Baron Hill, the Democrat nominee for United States Senate of Indiana, pulling out of the race. NBC has confirmed former two-time U.S. Senator Evan Bayh is getting in. Eyewitness News political reporter Kevin Rader joins us now with what this is all about. Here we were all paying attention to whether Mike Pence was going to be named a vice presidential nominee and then all of a sudden, wham! It seems like Indiana is at the center of the political universe right now because, as we pointed out, we were just talking, it seems like the biggest story in America politically is not even the biggest story in Indiana. I want to start with there's so much in this, de in this decision that's going on. I'm told the Clinton camp doesn't have anything to do with this, but the fingerprints have to be all over it. First of all, the Clinton camp wants to make sure Indiana is at play in November and that they can get a majority in the United States Senate check two boxes. If you can then uh, and then tap a man with over $10 million in the bank and upstage a potential Donald Trump announcement involving Governor Mike Pence on Tuesday, there's another one. If you're pulling out for a reason that you think that would help provide better representation for Indiana, that's admirable. And if Baron Hill is indeed pulling out because he thinks Evan Bayh would be a better United States Senator, that's admirable. It's a chess game that we're not part of, so I don't, I don't have any idea. Here's the big difference. Most chess games have a certain number of pieces. This one has a lot more added onto the thing, and then you've got to figure out how they move around. Leave it to Robin to put it in perspective. That last bit was reaction when I asked him about how the governor might be pulling out of his race to run for re-election, to run for vice president, and now a United States Senate nominee is pulling out. Both parties playing an interesting game of chess, and Chris, I think Robin hit the nail on the head. It's a game we're not involved in. Yeah, well, we're talking about the Senate race, though. How imperative is that, especially when we're talking about the presidential race for the Democrats? Look, if you, no doubt Hillary Clinton needs a majority in the United States Senate, and Democrats need to pick up four seats. And no doubt they believe that if Evan buys a nominee in Indiana, that may cut their chances down to three. But look, Todd Young is going to be competitive in this race too, Chris. But literally, I think the Clintons are looking at the board, not only thinking about winning now, but they're trying to thinking about governing. And that's why Evan Bayh, look, I don't think Evan Bayh wanted to come back and run for the United States Senate. Although, remember, it wasn't that long ago he was talking about running for governor right, again in this right. state. Not and then decided out. not to. So maybe, who knows? Yeah, and, and when we talk about a little bit of political history, not too long ago, the relationship, Baron Hill actually endorsed President Obama he at did. the time over then, Hillary Clinton. Then or, does Senator that mean Obama. anything in all of this? You know, I remember being at that announcement in Bloomington when they made that announcement. And I will tell you, if one thing the Clintons are known for, it is a long memory. Now, let's put it this way. Is this revenge? I even tweeted something out saying revenge is. We all know what the next word is. But it's, it's, I don't know. I'm told that that's not a part of this. I'm told that it has something to do with not being able to raise enough money. That Baron Hill didn't raise enough money in order to make this competitive. But you know, it, you can, can't raise enough money if you see the guy sitting in the bullpen has 10 million. It's like your chances of raising 10 million that quickly, not very good. Everything's kind of stacked against you. I have never heard of this. We've got a governor that might pull out of the race. We've got a sitting governor. We've got a uh, U.S. Senate candidate uh, pulling out of the race. This is uncharted waters. For those of you playing the home game, good luck. <laughs> Try to keep up. Yeah. I know you'll have more a little bit later right. on today, Kevin. Thanks so much.